guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. Um, yes, so today, as you can see from the title, I am actively looking for a tortilla press. I always try to bring you guys along on my research projects. So, um, uh, and my tortilla press desire came from watching one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is uh, La Jarencia de la Vuelta. Um, she's on YouTube. She has 138 subscribers. I have her details here. Um, she is from Mexico. And uh, you all know that we cook a lot from scratch here. And I have, um, since I was shown how to make tortillas, I've always made our tortillas. And, but when I saw, I was watching a lot of videos by this particular YouTuber. And when I saw her do how she made tortillas, oh my goodness, it was game changer. Um, not to mention the fact that I actually wanted the bowl that she had in the video. Um, it's a huge wooden bowl and she, it's so big, she can do two bags of two five pound bags of flour in it. So she could do 10 pounds of flour um, and kneading it and everything in this huge wooden bowl. If anybody ever watches that video, I'm gonna link it in the description below. If you watch the video, you will see the bowl I'm talking about. If anyone knows where to find said bowl, please, please let me know in the comments below. You all know that I am, I have a bowl thing going on. I love bowls, um, especially the bigger the better because, you know, when you're kneading and um, when you're doing a lot of baking, and especially of breads and things like that, you want bowls that you can knead inside of so you don't have to uh, put it out on the counter as much. But this is not about the bowl. Um, she did a video. I normally make my tortillas by hand, um, you know, because I didn't really think that the press was necessary um but watching her uh she did a few by hand and then she did some using an actual press and in that moment i thought mm, i need to get a tortilla press if anyone in the comments if anybody's watching and you have a tortilla press please leave that in the comments below share share the share your knowledge um, you know, that's what YouTube is for. Uh, that's why I guess sometimes it's, uh, 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 referred to as YouTube university, um, that we're all attending. Um, uh, <laughs> but please, if you, um, know of a good tortilla press, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to share with you four of the ones that I'm researching that I, that I thought were some of the top ones that are on my list. Um, I was hoping that Crate and Barrel had one, um, but sadly they do not. Williams, William Sonoma has one, but they don't have one in the store for me to go and check out. So these are four that I'm looking into. So let's get into it. So the first one is this beautiful red color, um, cast iron, and you know what's going to be cast iron. Come on, you knew it was going to be. They're all cast iron. Um, it's cast iron tortilla press, beautiful color red, and it is eight inches in diameter. So of course it's going to press out that tortilla in a beautiful eight inch shape. Um, it is cast iron, so you will need to keep it oiled um every so often like i said with all my cast iron i tend to oil it every two to three months um, which is a really easy simple process and um yes so this one has i believe four stars four out of five which generally means that it, it's doing pretty well it's been around for a while um, so let me t let you know how much it actually cost. So this one from William Sonoma is $37.95, which is a you know middle of the road price, pretty good price if you're just looking to get something that you wanna you know not play around with but use um, and not spend so much money. The next one 
1996 and this one uh, you can get from none other than Home Depot um, this is a seven inch tortilla press uh, once again it is cast iron um, so it ensures that you're going to be able to use this for a very long time the price is worth checking out is 1996 so if you want something that you can kind of use but not invest so much into just in case you don't use it on a regular basis 1996 um, is a price that I was willing to part with just to be able to use the item to see if it was something that uh, I was going to use long term and then our next one is from Amazon. It's called the Victoria Commercial Grade Cast Iron Tortilla Press. Um, and it's and this one is $49.90. I should have put them in order of price. Um, this one is an eight inch press. Um, it has four and a half stars. So it's doing pretty good. Um, really good actually and if you go on Amazon they give you the option of choosing out of four different sizes from six inches all the way up to a 10 inch cast iron tortilla press um, and it looks like it's really good quality the price once again is kind of middle of the road so if you're looking to uh, if you're interested in um, purchasing something but not having to invest a whole lot just in case it ends up being, you know, not used as often. $49, $49 seems like a really good place to start. Like I said before, they do have three others to choose from. You can either buy the uh, six, seven, or 10 inch um, tortilla press for all different prices, of course. And then last but not least, the there's one called, I'm if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, please forgive me. It's called Macienda. Macienda. Um, this one is $99. Um, and this one is used worldwide. It has five stars. Um, let me know if you if anyone else has used this one before. This is the one, this is one of the ones that I actually saw in the YouTuber's video, um, something similar to this. Um, but for me, I think I'm going to find some that's kind of middle of the road just so I can make sure that I will actually use it and it not just be sitting there. I do not like to see things just sitting um, uh, and not being used um, regularly. But let me know in the comments below what you guys have been researching. I, we just enjoy food from all over the world and especially, you know, and I'm a huge fan of tortillas, um, flatbreads, um, especially because you can do so much with them. Um, so I tend to make a lot of tortillas at one time and then freeze them. So let me know in the comments below what you do. Do you, um, have you ever, you know, looked into a tortilla press? If you have, did you purchase it? Um, do you use it very often? Um, and how often do you make your tortillas? Um, and please check out the YouTuber. One thing that I really enjoy about this space is being able to um, not just share myself, but also share the other people that I find so interesting on uh, this platform as well. So head on over, check out some of her videos. They're just amazing. Um, oh, before you guys go, I wanted to know um, on Monday, is our Le Creuset day, if you all were interested in um, uh, having a Le, a Le Creuset Q&A. If you're interested in having a La Crusade Q&A, let me know in the comments below and let me know some of your questions. Um, ask, ask away, uh, you know, anything about La Crusade, let's have a conversation, um, let's chat about it. And I was thinking that would be really cool for me to answer any of the questions that come in. But on that note, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!